Hello everybody. Welcome to the next video in our series. My name is Cody. I'm a Visual Studio for Mac Program Manager here at Microsoft. Today, I'm going to show you how to get the most out of your editor with code suggestions and refactoring powered by Roslyn within Visual Studio for Mac. Let's get started. First, we're going to create a new .NET Core project. To do that, click on New Project, navigate to .NET Core, and click Console Application. Think of your great name and go ahead and click Create. Now that our project is open, let's make some mistakes. First, I'm going to misuse a variable. Let's see what happens when I click on the value. We get a nice little light bulb pop up with the error indicator. We have some fixes available to us. Since I wrote an int but typed it as a string, we can change this to local variable type var. Let's click that and see what happens. Awesome. It changed it to a var and now it'll be typed as an integer. But it's still not perfect. There's still a little squiggly line here, so let's see what that's all about. Let's click on the light bulb with the error symbol again and see what we can do. Here we have remove unused variable. But I might use it, so let's just skip that for now. So let's do int meow equals cat plus five. Perfect, and now we see that the variable warning goes away and we have a nice statement here. Now that that's all fixed up, let's see what else we can do with Roslyn. Let's say I want to start using a new technology, but I don't quite remember exactly how to do it. So here I'm going to say file.open. And I notice that there's a squiggly line under file with the light bulb and error message. So let's click on this and see what we can do. We have several options, including using system.io. This is the import that I want to use to make sure that file.open is working. So click on that and it populates up here. But uh, I decided not to do this. Let's close that out, delete it. And you see that this went to a faded color. So if we go up here, click on the wrench, we can now remove unnecessary usings. This is very powerful if you want to keep your code nice and trim. So click on Remove Unnecessary Usings and organize the system yourself. Let's see what else we can do with Roslyn. I pre-copied some code to make this go a little smoother. Let's paste it in. Here you can see that I'm declaring a date time and setting that value. This is a little verbose, so let's see what Roslyn has to make this better. Click on Date, go over to the wrench, and see what we can do. Here we can join the declaration statement. As brevity is appreciated in code, this really makes for a better experience. Let's not stop there. Let's see what other options we have available to us. Again, I'm going to paste in some code and see which suggestions it gives us. Here we have a method which returns a string. It looks kind of messy, not super organized. Let's see what we can get out of this. Click on the if statement, go over to the wrench, and check the suggestions. Here we can see we should add braces. It's always a good idea, so let's see how it works. Perfect. Organized code is happy code. Let's see what else we can do. Once again, I pre-copied some code, so I'm going to paste it in here. I'll delete this and paste in my code. This is a simple string format statement where I take an integer, place it in the middle of the string, and then return the result. Let's see what we can do with Roslyn to make this a little bit simpler. Click on the format, click on the wrench, and we see that we can convert this to interpolated string. By doing this, we have a much simpler statement that's easier to read and understand. Now there's one more fix that I want to show you. Once again, I pre-copied some code, so let's paste it in. Here we have a list declaration, but there's a few things wrong with this. First, as you can see, we have not declared a using statement for system.collections.generic. Once again, click on the error message or error light bulb and see the using statement populate. But now it's not quite what we want. It's a little verbose, a little too many words. Let's see if we can fix that. Here we have, by clicking on the list declaration, collection initialization can be simplified. Simplify it then. Perfect. A lot simpler, a lot easier to read, and better code all around. In this video, I showed you how to get the most out of Visual Studio for Mac by using quick actions and suggestions powered by Roslyn. But let's not stop there. 
Go ahead, download a copy of Visual Studio for Mac, and see what suggestions it has for your code. These can make your code simpler, cleaner, and easier to read. Please stay tuned for the next video in our series, and thank you for watching.